Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the Broad and Taylor flat pack slow cooker improver and it's easy to assemble it's a straightforward flat pack as a prover it goes from 21 to 49 celsius the humidity is caused by a little tray with water in once again on a heated pad this is an accessory shelf which costs you about 20 quid. Once you've got your dough made, all you need to do is pop it inside the prover, put the lid down and just wait until it proves. It's really simple and easy to use. You can do your breads, Danish pastries, rolls, cinnamon buns, you name it, you can do it. And it's really easy to put back together again. And you can even buy an option of a carrying case for it as well. So what do I think? Should you buy one or not? So what do I think about this Bro and Taylor Prover? Well, let's get down to the nitty gritty. It is a slow cooker, really. It's designed for that purpose. I think the proving bit is coming in second place. Now, let's be fair, all the reviews for this model is really up there. And I can't doubt what people have been saying about it. It proves the product beautifully. Now, I do find this a little bit expensive. At 220 quid with all the accessories, that is a lot of money. For summer, that I really think is only worth about 30 quid. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Now, I could make that for under 30 quid. Now, I dare to say there'll be people out there who say, well, uh, you know you know what you're doing, Steve. Well, I may, may do, but it doesn't take someone who's not quite a ticket to actually make one. It's very, very simple and very easy. In fact, in my very first video on Provers, I showed you a straightforward cardboard box and a plastic bag. Hey, simple. And in my second video, I showed you the cardboard box with a heater in it. Hey, it did the same job as this at 230 quid. You know, let's be fair, I don't wanna waste your money. Now, if you're into saving money, if, you haven't got, if you've got money to burn and you want to buy one of these, great, go for it. It is, it is a great bit of kit. But if you're money saving, don't bother. Don't waste your money. Now, to, for the downsides, let's get down to the nitty gritty. It is plastic. And at the end of the day, plastic and heat never works. It's always going to go wrong. There's going to be a breakage or something. And I've seen in the reviews there has been a number of breakages. Hey, that goes with the territory. So if you do have a problem with their product, their company is really good and they do actually put things right for you. Now, I'm only, per <laughs> I'm only looking at it from a professional point of view here. And I think it looks great. And I absolutely love the idea for this. Personally, I wouldn't buy one. But that doesn't mean to say you shouldn't buy one. So let's show you what I've made for 30 quid. Now, this is plastic, by the way, and you'll like this. So there we go, folks. That is my little prover I just made. Very simple. This is a box from a fridge or a freezer. On a dot, it's just a bit of the glass of one of them shells. And in the bottom there, I've got a metal tray with some water in. And that is a heat pad in there for doing plants. So let's have a look at the temperature at the moment in there. And you'll be very surprised. And this has got the humidity as well. Hopefully you can see that all right. 20 Celsius, 27 Celsius, and that's rising. Now I've tried this previously, and I've had this up to 35. So, and that's in this cabinet. And you can see the condensation coming on the top of it. So there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of a short one, but I just thought a lot of people have been saying, Steve, have you, have you actually seen this prover? And I said, well, yeah, I have actually seen it. And I just thought, well, I wouldn't waste my money on it, but you know, I thought it'd be fair to you guys. I'll give you my opinion of it. Um, they haven't sent me one. I'm only going from what I've seen. I've seen one in real life, but I haven't had one here to try out personally. 
but from what I can see, it is a good bit of equipment. So you wouldn't be wasting your money in that respect, but it is expensive. So you need to think about whether you want one of these or not. Now the size of it is the same size as what I've made here. Hey, and like I said, this total one I've made here cost me around about 30 quid. Hey, and that's just, just using bits from a, an old fridge or an old freezer, you know? But like I said before, you can use a straightforward cardboard box, a heat pad, it's that simple. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters!